Well, hello YouTube and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I have something hugely exciting to share with you. This weekend I was on Amazon and discovered that Kiritake has come out with new paints, new granulating paints, and I have them in my hands. And I'm going to open them, swatch them, and paint with them and share them with you today. So please stay tuned because I'm going to get started straight away. Okay, so like I said, um, I was uh, looking on Amazon actually yesterday and I saw that Kiritake has come out with these new paints. They have developed five pans of granulating colors. They're available in this set of five and it comes with one empty half pan, woohoo. <laughs> they they've developed five colors that we're gonna take a look at today. I'm so excited. I got this uh, set for I think $24 off of Amazon. So a little bit on the pricey side, $5 a pan, a little bit more expensive than your average Kiritake palette, but I am so thrilled nonetheless. All right, so let's take a quick look at the box and then we'll look at what's inside. So here we are on the back. It tells you the colors that it comes with, uh, red, pink, orange, blue, and violet. And it looks like they're calling these the Aurora sets um and they look really pretty uh different than uh like the schminke granulating colors or the super granulating that are kind of real uh stormy and muted and not so bright these i thought were really intriguing because they seem to be very colorful and bright so i'm excited to paint with them and see what they look like these come in a pack just like their metallics do. I have their metallic gold set. Uh, I absolutely love it. It's some of my favorite golds. Um, the pans are the typical uh, Kiritake Gonsai Tambi pans. Um, you can see here. It comes in a cardboard, but I haven't had too much trouble with them falling out. Um, Okay, so it says uh, the name of the color on the back, which is really nice. So if they do fall out, um, you're not going to uh, get confused as to what color is what, which is nice because in the pan, they do look also similar, don't they? All right, so we've got red, pink, orange, blue, and violet. Let's see what they look like. Now I'm gonna swatch these out on, um, I have 100% cotton uh, cold press watercolor paper. This is the Meaden block. I really am happy with this with this uh, paper. And so I think it gives the watercolors a really fair representation because it's 100% cotton and it's also cold press. So hopefully this will give us a nice representation of what the how the colors will granulate. Uh, typically, colors will granulate better on cold press paper than they will on hot press. And wow, you know, I have to tell you, at first brush, um, that went really nicely and wasn't sticky. If uh, you have ever painted with the, um, the Kiritake paints, wow, before, uh, you know that they're kind of sticky. And these aren't. Um, at least that one wasn't. Whoa, these are, that was not what I expected especially off of um, a cake that color. <laughs> wow, these are beautiful. All right, so this would be the Aurora Red, and that doesn't look very red, um, but we'll, we'll just have to see them all out side by side and see how they look when they dry. Um, I don't even know how much you're able to see with the, the glare with it being wet. But uh, next up is pink. I wonder if they're, wow. You know, re-reading this, this is all really smooth. You know how the um, the Kiritake Gonzai Tambi paints, they have like a, wow. They have um, like a, a sticky kind of uh, binder to them. These do not. They, they re-wet and it doesn't feel like a sticky paint at all. And this is, so this is, they're calling this Aurora Pink. And I didn't see any pigment information on the back of it. Um, this here now is Aurora Orange next. Oh, wow. How unexpected that is. Oh, how pretty. So this must be like, um, like an orange with a, I don't know, like a, a, a green or a blue undertone under it. Wow, 
these are different. How exciting. I'm so glad because um, I was kind of getting, you know, it, yeah, I, I was so glad to have a new and different set. Um, wow, these are really cool, you all. All right, so the next one is Aurora Blue. You know, as they dry down, they definitely are looking a little bit different. Okay, so this one is Aurora Blue. Those three are looking quite similar, although I can see as they're drying down, the granulation is a bit different. So I'm excited to see them all side by side once they're done, but that orange is incredible. All right, then finally we have the Aurora Violet. And it almost looks as though there might be some fluorescent in this one. And there might be. That's definitely Violet. You can see that. Um, okay, see how that is watered down. Now I have to say like none of these are like super strong color at mass tone. Um, they're all quite delicate um, and just lovely. Now they're all still really wet, um, but here they are kind of side by side and we can literally watch paint dry. I'm not going to go off camera and with my heat gun or anything because I don't want to disturb uh, the the um, pigment particles. And, you know, with a heat gun or a blow dryer, it will just blow those particles around. And so I really want to let this dry naturally and let the watercolors naturally granulate and see what, what we come up with. So yeah, I think we'll just sit here and watch paint dry for a couple minutes. Okay, so these are all dry now and they are just stunning. Um, you know, a, from afar, they do look similar. They're definitely more red. Um, this this orange though is, is just a stunner and to me worth the price of admission. And uh, these two are gorgeous too. That's like a really, really pretty sky or watercolor and um, this is just a brilliant um, purpley and you know, I suspect that these are not light fast I'm sorry um, I suspect that these are not going to be light fast I suppose I, sh I could and should do a light fast test um, and there are there is no pigment information here so uh, I, I suspect they're not light fast because I suspect there's fluorescence in these watercolors, though I could be wrong. But nonetheless, they are lots of fun looking and I just wanna do a quick little play and paint with them. So, you know, I mean, that's really the true test, right? Let's go.
Okay, kids, I, I have to show you. So I'm sitting here literally watching paint dry and just kind of doodling on because I just can't get over how gorgeous these paints are. And I'm not entirely, entirely dry yet, but I do want to show you. I just don't want to wait. I mean, these paints are so beautiful. So here we go. Um, this would be the uh, red, then the pink, then the orange and blue and violet. What really surprised me um, was the value range that I was able to get with these paints. When I was swatching them out, I didn't think I was going to be able to get much value range. I mean, I, I didn't really care to be honest with you because look at the swatches. I mean, they're delicate and beautiful and I would be happy to have those in my collection even if I couldn't get um, the value range that I did. But I, I decided to go, I was having so much fun painting with them. So I decided to go ahead and just keep painting. And so I layered them. And when I did, I'm just shocked at how much more color, um, depth I was able to get when I layered them. You know, and I'm sitting here, the paint's not completely fully dry yet. So <clears throat> I'm still working this out in my head. I'm still, you know, these are still kind of my first impressions. But I'm trying to work out in my head why I'm getting such a difference in value when I layered them. And I think it is because they granulate the way that they do. And so I'm guessing that one, the, one set of pigments, you know, is sitting on top of the other, perhaps creating um, a deeper value. I don't know. That's my initial kind of logic. My mind is kind of blown right now. I mean, because the difference in value just, I, well, you saw, you saw me just lightly layer. I didn't even go mass tone, or at least, I mean, I didn't think I did. I, I watered it out on my palette too. I don't know. I'm really surprised, pleasantly surprised at how well these paints performed. You know, this was just a quick little swatch sketch, but look at this, this little butterfly here. You know, so this is just the orange. And look at the amount of color variation and value variation that I'm getting here. I mean, I, I just, my mind is blown. And then with the, um, I used the, uh, the number 20, the black from Kuretake out of the, uh, you know, normal paint set to paint uh, their little bodies. And I don't know if you can see, um, but some of the, I don't know if that layered over, but you can see through the black, um, the orange and the granulating and the effects. I mean, I, I'm just in love. Wow. Wow. I'm so excited about these paints. Well done, Kuretake. Um, uh, yeah, get yourself a set. Run. Run before they sell out. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for using that link. I appreciate it lots. And until next time, everybody, which will be super, super soon, go get these paints and take good care. <laughs> Bye.